So today I want to talk to you about best practices for live directed sessions. Every moment is a teachable moment. I love live directed sessions, mostly because it's considered a luxury to be directed. And it's wonderful to get feedback immediately instead of being in my studio and doing a self-directed session where I'm constantly guessing if this is the way that my client wants me to do the read. When you're in the studio and being live directed, you should keep a couple things in mind. Number one, first and foremost, is that this is your client who is paying you for a service. Any comments that you might have about the copy quality or maybe the direction that you think the copy should go should are best kept to yourself. Do that job and smile and be polite and professional so that you can give the client exactly what they're paying for. If the client does ask you for your opinion or maybe ask you for a second read, then you can feel free to have uh, some creative license with maybe the direction of the copy or even suggesting different copy that might work better. But be very, very careful about that. Next thing, make sure that your technology is working. This is so important. During one of my live directed sessions, I had multiple pieces of copy and the client wanted to have different files. So I had to keep remembering that I was pressing record on every one of those files. Well, one of them I didn't. After we got through the whole read, of course, it was a perfect read. Um, the client was like, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. I realized that I did not press the record button and I had to be completely honest and say, you know what? I am so sorry. I apologize for whatever reason. I did not hit the record button. <laughs> And thankfully, they were great sports about it. So we were able to read the copy again. I, you know, was pretty much mortified. But again, you have to be honest with your client, you know, make the best of a situation if things go wrong. So that wasn't necessarily a technical glitch. That was a glitch on my end. However, if you have a technical glitch, make sure that you have a backup handy. Lots of things can go wrong during a live directed session. Maybe you didn't record or for, that could be because maybe you didn't hit the record button or maybe there's some sort of a failure hardware error if that happens hopefully you have a backup right in place that you can exchange quickly whether it be an audio interface a microphone your computer whatever happens also you might have an internet glitch so make sure you have a backup internet connection as well so that you can recover quickly so that you're not wasting time for the client the other thing i want you to remember is to be polite and considerate to everyone on the call you might have an engineer if they're going to be recording you or you might be the engineer you might have a client you might have multiple um, people from the client's office or company there so make sure that you're polite to everyone so that they'll want to ask you back to do your next read or to do another job so these are just a few of my best practices if you want to hear more best practices best performance tips make sure to check out my videos here thanks so much for watching everyone i'll see you next week